Hey everyone, it's Melissa with Greenopolis TV and I'm at South Plantation High School here in Florida. I cannot believe this group that I ran into. They are called the Solar Knights. Hello everyone. You guys, this is an incredible team. They've put together this solar car that actually goes, I hear, 48 miles an hour. But I'm gonna hear a little bit more from the teacher of this class and of this club, right? We met yesterday, will you introduce yourself again? Hi, I'm Alan Phipps from South Plantation High School. I teach environmental science, uh, advanced placement, and a class in solar and alternative energies. And you lead this amazing club, the Solar Night. Yes, this is actually our third year of racing, and we've gone from eighth in the nation to third last year, and first place this year in our division. All right, this is, I love knowing the coolest people. Okay, so this looks like a Batmobile to me. Will you, will you take us through these components a little bit? Okay, basically, the, your panels are charging a series of batteries, and the batteries are located right here behind the driver. And the batteries are in that box right there. The batteries are then driving the motor. So the idea is to find your break-even speed where solar energy equals, your solar input equals your motor output. You want to end the day with a full tank of solar energy um, as well as when you start the day. So the batteries are there for when clouds come over, uh, when it's getting a little bit late in the day, just to have that little extra energy to finish the race. You really want to start and end the day with a good tank of gas. And I also heard that these are recycled components. Is that true? Yes. Um, that's one unique characteristic of our car. This car actually started as an ultralight aircraft um, that got flipped after a uh, tropical storm. Uh, the pilot decided to just tie it down on the runway instead of putting it in a hangar. And uh, we took advantage of that. So the body is a, used to be uh, an aircraft and fly. A lot of the front end components came from junior dragster golf uh, go-karts. Uh, the rear end came from a Kawasaki Ninja motorcycle. Um, so a lot of the components are, are recycled or reused, yeah. reused components. Exactly. Well, we're all about reusing. I, I just never thought it would make a solar car. You guys, you guys really did it. Who do we have in the driver's seat today? Hi. What's your name? I'm Daniela Saeda. And are you the driver for this team? I'm one of the drivers. Wow, well I can't wait to watch you take off. Are you liking the higher speeds or you tend to keep it lower? Uh, we all just listen to what the people back on the pit stop say, but we can floor it whenever they tell us. Wow, this is a real team, you guys. I can't wait to watch this thing take off. Are we ready to go? Okay, I think, I think we're gonna hit it. That was so amazing. Did you see that car? It's the ultimate Batmobile. It's, it's unbelievable. Well, this team is truly a team, and we all know how important a team is to make one thing completely great. Everyone here has a very, very distinct role, and I want to go talk a little bit more with them and find out what everybody does here. Uh, my name is Johnny Cheveri, and I'm part of like the mechanical team in charge of doing all the, like, the rear axle and the front over here. Uh, I help with a lot of the PR stuff, and I was also doing video during the trip, so I did a little bit of both. Ariane Deshaies, and I was part of the PR, and I was like ahead of it, and um, we made sure that newspaper heard about us. Michelle Hinzel, and I was the safety officer, and I just had to make sure that everyone was being safe. I'm Chaz, I was in charge of um, statistical information, and I kept track of ours and several other teams' time so we could figure out their game plan and our speeds and uh, adjust accordingly. Hi, I'm David Francis, and I was in charge of the electrical system and making sure everything was wired properly and working, and I was also partially in charge of the telemetry, helping Marlon get everything working for that. 
everyone here has an integral part and I think that we could all learn from this team on doing any type of project, whether you're building a solar car or not. Everyone here has a responsibility and contributes to this really incredible project. I'm hot for teacher, we already know I sang this. This is a great project, you're doing a great job and I would really, really like to showcase this team to everybody else because I really do believe we can learn from what you're doing here. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to learn more about our team, you can go to the website. It's www.sphssolarnights.org. Great. And stick with us on Greenopolis because we are going to be following this team over the next year. We've fallen in love with them. We think they're great. So stick with us to learn more about the Solar Nights. All right, you guys. Thank you.